All right, so, uh, Governor, first let me start with you. I mean, is this real? Are these denials real, or is the reporting real that he could step down as early as Sunday or Monday? I don't think we know for sure. Um, obviously, there is a lot of uh, discussion and debate going on. Uh, but the fact is that if, if the president decides to step aside, only he can make that decision. All these other voices can apply pressure and express opinions uh, and fears and so on. But uh, the final decision remains with Joe Biden. And it is, it is my hope that this could be resolved sooner rather than later. I can see the president stepping aside. I can see us going to the convention, coming out of that convention with a new team, um, Harris at the top, perhaps Governor Pritzker or some other governor uh, joining her on the ticket, and we could leave that convention with a new, fresh enthusiasm that we simply don't have right now. But um, I love Joe Biden. I've spent many hours with him in years past as we've campaigned together. He's a great man. I think he's been a wonderful president, um, better than perhaps any president since Lyndon Johnson in terms of um, getting things done, big, big bills passed, mm -hmm. and so on. But, um, but I think his time may have come uh, when he should step aside and allow the party and the Democrats to coalesce, coalesce around a new team. Michael, let me, let me ask you, I'm going to read you, this is again from a Biden campaign memo obtained by News Nation, which obviously they're uh, leaking. Joe Biden has made it more than clear he's in this race and he's in it to win it. Moreover, he's the presumptive nominee. There is no plan for an alternative nominee. In a few short weeks, Joe Biden will be the official nominee. It's high past time we stop fighting with one another. Um, how seriously or literally, Michael, should we take this? Not, I mean, not at all. That's what the campaign's supposed to say. Uh, they'll say that he's not dropping out until literally the last second when he drops out. The only person at this point that really wants Joe Biden to stay in the race is Joe Biden. When I talk to Democrats behind the scenes, there's an overwhelming dread and sense that if he's at the top of the ticket, that he will drag down the ticket. And you're seeing that in states like Wisconsin, uh, where you've got uh, Senator Duckworth outperforming uh, Joe Biden by almost 10 points. This isn't personal. Joe Biden's a good man. And every Democrat, when they get on TV, has to qualify what they want to say, which is it's time for Joe Biden to get out. There is a quality that he can't change, and that is his age. He looks frail. He sounds frail. And Democrats are scared. They're scared that Trump is going to win and that he'll have a yeah. House and Senate uh, that can cause insane damage. So Catherine, it's time for Democrats to really come out uh, and just do Catherine, this. Catherine, I know you've been studying the polls as well. I want to first play, though, this is what President Biden told NBC this week um, about the polls. Let's listen, number two. What do you make of people like Nancy Pelosi, though, who seem to be of the opinion that there is a window for you to make this choice? What aren't they getting? Look, uh, we knew this was going to be a close race from the moment he announced. The idea that we are in a situation where if you look at all the polling data, the polling data shows a lot of different things, but there's no wide gap between us. It's essentially a toss-up race. Catherine, that's really no longer true if you actually view it through the prism of the Electoral College, is it? Well, and it really wasn't entirely true during that interview. I think <laughs> the most troubling thing about that conversation is that it revealed how little information from the outside world Biden was getting. He's surrounded by his own team, his inner circle, his bubble, and they were telling him what he wanted to hear, I fear, for a little bit longer, maybe a lot longer, than was good for America. I think the past couple of weeks have just been an exercise in actual facts about the political situation on the ground managing to make their way to Biden's ears. He's been too protected. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.